So here we have Buddy. We're going to be working on her sit downs and recall today. I'm going to show you how we go over that, how we teach them their name, up, recall, and a little bit about their phasing out of lure sits and downs. So I'm going to call them over here. I'm going to walk a little closer to you. Sorry if you can't hear me. It's a little windy out and we have tractors running in the background, but lots of distractions for training, which we always love. So first I'm going to start off with some sits and downs. Sit. Yes. So we still have that treat in our hands, so we're kind of luring, but also using the hand signals at the same time. Just like with a down, I'm going to keep the treat in my hand. I'm going to go down. Yes, good. And then same with the sit again. So I'm going to take the treat in my hand, have it in my hand, so we know it's there. Sit. Yes, good. Kind of knows what I'm asking for him, so he already is preparing, which we want to see. Ah, ah, ah. We want him to lay down, uh, uh, down, sit, down. We want him to always lay down, good boy. And then I'm gonna show you how we work a little bit on recall. So he's kind of gonna get distracted. So I'm gonna let him go do his own thing, get distracted, and then we're gonna call him over. So he knows I have treats, uh, uh, uh. We don't want them jumping, uh, uh, uh. So when they do jump, we just tell them, ah, ah, and give them just a little bit of a knee, but not too much, so they're, we're not whacking them or knocking the air out of them. We're just kind of making it awkward for them to jump on us. So I'm gonna walk around. And so when you're doing recall, it's important, ah, 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 that you don't overuse the come command or their name, because we don't want to overuse that name, but we want them to know what's theirs and when to come. So I'm gonna get him a little distracted. I'm gonna wait for him to go around. Make some noises over here. So he does love people and he's very people oriented. So it's kind of hard to get him to do his own thing and walk away from you because he wants to be right by your feet the whole time, as you can see. Buddy, come. Yes, good boy. So as you can see, I made a louder noise before coming, before calling him to come. So he got, I got his attention, I got eye contact, that's when I would call him to come. So when he's busy looking, I'm gonna make that loud, obnoxious noise. I'm not gonna just say, buddy, come, because he doesn't really know his name too well. So when I do make that loud, obnoxious noise, that's when he'd look at me, I'd say, buddy, come. Buddy, come. Yes, good boy, good boy. And then when he gets to me, I'd make a big party. I'd say, yes, good boy, positive mark words, and a reward for the treat. So I'm going to wait for him to look away. Buddy, come. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Lots of praise. Let's tell him he's a good boy for coming. Buddy, come. Yes, good boy. Good boy. And you want to keep doing this, working with it daily, multiple times a day. So they look forward to getting that reward when they come to you. So they always want to come to you. Buddy, come. matter the distance you can work up distances so the further away you get bugs are pretty bad out here um the more they're likely to come so if you work up distances eventually they'll just always come to you which is what we want to see buddy come yes good boy good boy lots of praise and pets because he's such a good boy yes good boy oh we'll mix it up a little bit i'll come a little closer we'll do some sits and downs buddy sit Yes, good boy. And I'm going to reward him when all four feet are on the ground and he's not jumping to try and get that treat out of my hand. Down. Yes, good boy. Good boy. And I don't want to reward him when he goes to flip over on his belly. I already gave him that reward. So he was kind of like, oh, I already got it. So he was done with that command. So that's when I rubbed his belly. Right here. Down. Yes, good boy. Yes, good. Down. So I'm holding that treat to the ground, waiting for his butt to drop. Good, that's what I reward. Good, down. Good boy. So I'm going to make sure he gets distracted again. 
buddy. Come here. Yes, good. And you don't always have to whistle. You can do other noises, like make a loud, obnoxious noise with your mouth. Whoa. It doesn't always have to be whistling. Whistling works best for Buddy because he just likes the loud noise. He knows when to look, but you don't always have to use a whistle. You can switch it up a little bit so it's not always the same noise. Come. Yes, good boy, good boy. And then always positive marker words and a reward. So positive marker words meaning, yes, good boy, good, all of those things, just positive voices with them as well. <laughs> You're such a good boy, buddy. Yes. Sit. Uh -uh. Yes. Down. All the way. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Come. Yes. Good boy. It's fun to make a game out of it. You can have two people. We call it the A and B game or one person's here and the other person's way over there and you call them back and forth just to make sure that recall is strong which always helps and it's really good for them to build confidence and build up the recall so they can go further and further away. Buddy come! Yes! Good boy! Good boy! And Buddy is a sweet and loving boy and after all of our sessions we always end on a positive note. Lots of praise. Sit. Lots of praise and pets just so they want to work again. We end with a good five to ten minutes of just positive pets, praise, good marker words, good boys, huh? Huh, yes. Just so they love to look forward to working with us and they just want to do it and they just build up that confidence so we know that they are confident in what they're doing, which always helps a lot. Huh, buddy? Huh, you're a very good boy. Yes, good boy.